Hi. I'm going to show you a naked chart and a live trade if it's available. Roll the intro. Tell you all about it. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers and I am the Scruffy Trader. And what I'm trying to do is kind of put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. If that sounds good, please click the little subscribe button. If you want to see future videos, click the little bell icon. It genuinely helps. So what am I doing today? Well, it's coming on to the end of the night and I often look at the indices as the night comes to a close between sort of quarter to four and quarter to six the last couple of hours and there's often quite a, a decent bit of movement in the markets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull up a chart um the dax because it's i've been watching it the last couple of hours and it's setting up quite nicely and i'm going to show you how to trade it but with no indicators and i'll explain why I'm doing it with no indicators. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for peaks and reasonable areas of entry. And as long as it comes into play, which it looks like it's going to, I'll trade it for you. So come with me and let's have a quick look on the chart. Okay, so this is a chart of the DAX. Nice, easy chart. When you're price action trading, start with your hourly, all right? And then you just want to mark in a couple of parameters. So you can see a turning point there. You can see a turning point on the top. So it's cracked the pair of them. The next one is up here, all right? So all you've done is you've just defined some trading areas. Very, very simple. Okay, and what I'm looking at is the tail of that and pressure pushing upwards. Take it to a 15, just so I can have a look to see what's going on. It's gone up, it's consolidated, it's tried to push down, it's now pushing back up. And as you see, it's reacting on the level that you've just drawn. Very simple. Take it to a 5. And again, it builds that out. A little bit more clearly but what you're looking at now is you can see that drive and now it's consolidating again this is like what's called a flag formation you know there's your flag and there's your pole so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a candle count one two three four five there's the point of order so it wants to be from there up to there around this area I'm going to drop in an order just at the top of that candle just up there like so and what basically what's happening is you are making the chart come to you and that's what you want to be doing over and over you always want the chart to come to you or the price that is and it's very simple and now we just watch it and I know when you do look at these you are sort of thinking to yourself eh what how how on earth you figure out what's going on there right now my orders are in I can have a little chat now I'll, I'll kind of explain it if you go out to a high time frame right, start with your four hourly for argument's sake it shows you some very good pictures you can see quite clearly that was the last leg there it is there okay all of the tails are pushing up which it did till it found the top here you can see that that red candle and then it sold off but when it sold off the tail at the bottom of that red candle is a lot stronger than the one at the top 
and it also shows the pressure pushing up and that's because the body is pushing that way and then the next candle underneath it or next to it rather is also showing signs of pushing up very simple and then you drop it down to an hour okay so you can see it right we're in so and this is done straight in front of you okay so what are we looking at in an hour well that's the drive that you've just seen it's had a retracement here which if you look at it is not too dissimilar in size to this one so from kind of body to body there see body to body they're almost identical so what I saw in this trade was it's an upward move it had a retracement so far and it's also had another retracement here which is pretty equal to it okay so what it gets me thinking is is it just a bit of relief of pressure and this section here is what's telling me that because if it was going to be continuing to move down it would have done it it would have just kept on going but it hasn't okay um, it is just stalled so the logical thing is it's going to come back now there's two areas of thought here because you've also got a steady sell-off here could that be retracing yes it can so what you do is you then put in a target that is pretty safe because you've got to remember when you're day trading guys you just want to be in and out of the market you want to be in and get your money and get out and it's that simple and there's a number of factors to it one you don't want to be sitting on heat all day you know you want to get in grab 10 pips get out if you can do it in a couple of minutes where well, you can reset and take another trade a bit later but if you get it wrong and you have to sit on this for five or six hours well then then that becomes a problem you know you really only want to be in a trade for an hour at a time and if you break your daily sort of day up shall we say if you're working eight hours a day you have potentially eight setups if you're checking once an hour now not every hour is going to give you a setup so you might only end up with four setups and then you only want to be taking the best one so sometimes you might only take two trades a day but if you did two trades 10 pen, 10 points each you know it's 20 points five are on each it's 100 pound a day 500 quid a week 2000 pound a month it's not a bad salary just for sitting waiting now this is a good example because it's an end of night trade and it's when there's a little bit of movement as the guys in the city and the bigger boys start shutting their positions down but this trade is nice and simple and easy to manage so I'm just going to let it play out and I'll come back to you at the end okay And that was that guys very easy setup um, 
I really can't make it any clearer than that. The, the whole idea of showing you this particular trade was because I'm constantly asked about indicators and some people get so hung up on them they kind of forget that they're only a guide not a trigger and the best indicator you will ever have is price itself and in that little bit of chat that we had all I used was basic turning points of the market a measuring tool and my eyes that was it so there you go um, if you're stuck by all means drop a question in the comments below or if you want to contact me directly all my details are in the description I'll happily chat to you um, like I say I'm in Facebook and telegram pretty much every day trading's not that hard it really isn't the hardest part is yourself and you'll often find that you're looking for a needle in a haystack when you're trying to plow through all different strategies and one thing and another i will show different strategies but the one i use the most is just basic stuff i go zone to zone support and resistance and that's about it you know but i can recognize the market and i understand how the market works which is why i'm consistent so there we go it was just a, a little quick video just to show you a naked chart in action so have yourselves a great time keep well keep safe and remember do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one